Hey, can't you keep it down? I would like to make a call. You're not in a call center. You're inside a detention center. Now get back to your bed. Rise and shine, your daddy's here now. He's waiting in the hall. Don't like it? Hmm? Can I have them then? Hello, Yuna. Come with me. Mr. Palagin will hire a new pediatric psychologist because of what happened. And do you know this for a fact? No. Though I've seen this before. It takes just one failure and then, well, you're fired. This isn't about Mr. Palagin. He'd sooner reprimand and fix your mistake than choose to turn his back. But there's nothing for me to fix. The boy didn't run away because of a mistake I made. His parents can't be honest with him. And that... That makes him nervous. Well, that's familiar. There was this show. It's about a baby mammoth that's looking for its mother. I know. Speaking of, it's actually good. From a psychotherapeutic point mm -hmm. of view, I mean. You see, well, they're mammoths. The mother's dead. The kid won't find her. We show the cartoon to kids. They have a lot to learn from. Well, that's quite peculiar. Yes, it is. But it helps. Well, good morning, Matve. Good morning, Dad. I won't go back to the camp. I won't insist. Want to go? Back home? Boris. We're all flying home today. Roger that. We're going home today? That's right. Does mother know? Is she waiting? She's at home. Hmm, but we should just keep it a surprise. Okay, Dad. Eat. 
Did he forget about the upcoming divorce? No. He just doesn't want to think about it. Children are good at that. Yeah, that's a fair point. As the law dictates, you may be prosecuted for your illegal attempt to cross the border. If you're guilty, your sentence will range from a grave penalty up to a prison term. Do you understand what I said, ma'am? Am I allowed to make a phone call? Well, you are, but under supervision. Come here, Boris. Yes? Igor, is that you? What happened to Matvey? Uh, he's all right. He's here with me. I'm at the police station. Really? What are you doing there? Listen, we both know I'm not that senseless. It's pretty obvious who orchestrated all this nonsense, and on whose whims depend what'll happen next. So let me ask you something. How would you benefit from all of Sit this? Sit down. Tell me what you really want. Well, nothing from you. But I'd appreciate it if you let me have the kids after the divorce. <sighs> Is this how you will take the kids from their own mother? By using threats? I'm not making threats. Why not think about it this way? I will secure their education and well-being. And you, you don't even have what it takes to take care of yourself. Well, I have a different proposition. I will come back home with you. You think that would be acceptable? And what about your other relationship? I already said I'm getting back together with you. What else do you want? I'll think about it. And how long will that take? About as long as I need to think about it. Come on. <sighs> Boris. Make an arrangement. Mm -hmm. Release her in less than a couple of days. Then you will take her to the airport. Make sure she doesn't visit Maria. Okay, but I thought we'd get her out of there in two weeks' time. Leave it at that. She understands. Two weeks is a lot. We don't want the headline saying, Palagin's wife is in prison, do we? <laughs> Mr. Palagin, when I was a kid, I was picked on a lot. It wasn't anything serious. You know how boys are, of course. But then one time they surrounded me and they tried to beat me up. So I broke their bones with a crowbar and their heads. <laughs> it's my greatest memory. <laughs> that is a good story. Don't force a cat into a corner or you'll invoke a dragon's wrath. She knows that now. Hey there. Stop crying. This is all your fault. You could have used your pretty face on the cops, you know? Back when I was at around your age, I was good at seducing those cops. Try telling them, I'll do whatever you want. But you'll have to let me go first. Get it? I won't sell my body to those bastards. <laughs> Stop crying. That wasn't what I meant. Lie to them. That's all there is. It's that easy. It's not like they don't do that to us. We're just getting back at them. Do you see what they did to us? Our lives are now in ruins because of those idiots. You should be smarter. Just think about it. There's no use in crying. Use your head and then your body. Yeah. Know that story for the kids? That one goldfish said, I should let them think that I'm delicious. Hmm? It's Pushkin. He never said that.
Well, they're Pushkin. He should try living in our shoes. Good to see you, Mrs. Lokteva. Hello there. What are you doing here? Well, I just want to talk with you. And I would like to stay too busy to talk. Just a minute. Then speak with the administrator. Svetlana, give me everything about this last Madam. quarter's club visitations. Come on, Maxim. This area is only for clients and employees. Don't make any trouble. <laughs> oh, come on. How are you? I'm fine. I'd like to have a pass. I want to work out. Can't do that. I don't see what's wrong. I'm just a paying customer. Give me a pass. Maxim, I know what you're here for. I'll ask Mrs. Luktiva first. Very well, but don't keep me waiting. He has business here? Or maybe you forgot that you're already fired. This place is a private facility, which means it's up to me who goes in and who doesn't. Is that clear? Now get out. Don't let this happen again. I'll fire you. But I thought he, um... Damn it, Daria! Just make your point quick. Did you come here to beg for money? I could give you some change if that That's would bring you... That's not it. Hear me out. I... I don't want your money. I'm hurting, you know? Way more than I thought I so would. So what's the problem now? Nobody wants to hire you or nobody's in your bed? Come on, my chest hurts, you know that? From the inside. I went to a doctor, but he didn't see anything wrong with me. Maxim, just get to the point already, but don't ask me to take you back because I won't. It's not about work, Darya. I have feelings for you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen what kind of person you are, and I think that... <laughs> I just can't help it. I understand. <laughs> I understand what you mean. You just can't help but think of my pretty face at every waking moment, right? Yes. <laughs> and there's nothing that you can do about it, am I right? I even drowned myself in alcohol. <laughs> I feel the same. Yes, I feel the same. With me? No, with a friend of mine. And no, there's nothing I can do about your feelings. Sorry about that. Okay. What should I do then? <sighs> just wait. You'll get over it. As for our colleague's request, you're free to go home now. What about Lyovkin? What about Lyovkin? He'll be here a while. He lectured us yesterday about criminal law theory. Let him stay here and practice his philosophy. And Irina? Who's this Irina? Irina Palagin, you know her. I was sent here together with a woman. Well, you were taken here together, but your cases are still separate. Take him away. When's mommy coming home? Hey dad, does this mean that you changed your mind about the divorce? <laughs> Mom's gonna be a little late. Oh, Mr. Balagi. That can wait. I love our house, but I forgot my phone back in the camp. We'll buy you a new one. <laughs> Go upstairs, play whatever you want. Okay. Matvey, you have an hour, then we'll eat. Okay. Nina? Yes? A cup of coffee, please. Okay, sir. Irina, it's good to see you well. Hello, Boris. Mr. Palagin did everything that he could to release you as soon as possible, but they had a lot of formalities. Where to, Boris? The airport. Good enough. I need to go to Belarus. I have urgent business there. 
Irina, it isn't my position to tell you this, but please don't take this the wrong way. You think it would be wise for you not to behave the way your husband intended, considering you just got out of prison. Please don't tell him, Boris. You can just tell him that I started acting like a crazed maniac, and that I threatened to call some journalists. You don't want me to actually do that, right? I want my kids. All right, so our destination's Belarus. Please. The price here is significantly higher. Here too. And here and here. It seems to me that you're overcharging your precious clients. They're expecting top quality. But you're substandard. A well-known scheme. You said that's what it seems, yeah? You just coined a legal term for me. <laughs> um, you think that the court will appreciate your efforts? I'd be careful if I were you. We'll find whatever it is you're hiding. Uh, if you say so. I have no doubt. Mm. Very well. We are done here. So here's your cell phone. They'll call in a couple of minutes. So maybe if I go away and play cards for a few hours, things would get better. For Mom, me, not for you, cheater. Hello, Maria. Look at how tall you've got. Within a week? Do you like it here? Magvis got all the luck. I just want to go home with you now. Then come with me. Really? Yes, really. Come on, let's go. Mom, is it true that you're getting a divorce? Yes, most likely. But are you sure about that? I am. I hope it goes smoothly. We're almost like living together but apart all at once. You should agree about me and my brother quickly. Because they've been trying to draw us over on the other side. What do you mean, Maria? I haven't done anything. But Dad is doing it. Well, kind of. Let's go get your stuff. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hello. How are you? Hello there. Don't worry, I'm all right here. My father won't listen to me. You really upset him. But I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully he's cooled off. Uh, listen, Anastasia, there's no need for that. I'll fix the situation myself. Is someone helping you? You sure you'll be fine? Well, you see, uh, Anastasia... I'm intending to let them take this to court. I'll see how it turns out. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> how bad do you think it'll go, huh? You sure there isn't any dirt on you? Of course they'll find some dirt. But I doubt that would be enough to get me charged, you see. Are you kidding me? I'm sure you know how they do it. They can just frame you. Listen to me. I believe you've done all that you could. But you asked me for help. Yes, and it just so happens that they started chasing me exactly after I met you. Are you blaming me for this? Anastasia, I need to go. It's time for dinner, and I don't want to miss it because of a phone call with you. You damn bastard, Andre! I hope you rot in jail! Drop dead and suffer, you damn manipulative piece of crap! Well, 
Oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> Matve, there you are. <laughs> Maria, I lost because of you. Did you miss me, you little punk? I didn't. Is mom here? Yes. Madre! <laughs> mom, there you are. Oh, hello there. Put me down, mom. You're drooling all over me. <laughs> My poor boy, you weren't too scared, were you? Why would I? I heard that you almost got hit by a train. No, I was at least three meters from the railway. <sighs> oh, I love this. The whole family's here. Mom has missed you so much. <laughs> Igor, we need to talk. What are you trying to... Now, first of all, hello there. And second, don't talk to me like that because I don't want any family squabbles. I will talk however I want to. You're going through hell and high water to take the kids from me. Do you want war? Fine, I'll get you that. You know I'll do anything for the sake of my kids. <clears throat> Igor. I'm cold. Got nothing to say? It's cold in this country. These are my conditions. You will be receiving an allowance once a month. The kids stay with me. You may meet them twice a week. You don't live here. Okay. Good. My conditions. The children will be staying with me. You will act like a good father and give us allowance. You'll visit whenever you wish. And? And a bonus. Ah. You'll have Gavrishov. Or do you want me to go crazy with loneliness? I might say something I to the get media. It. He'll be out of jail. But you take him somewhere far away. Go to Haiti, the far side of the moon, forever. The rest, it's a no. See you in court. You'll regret what you said. Soon enough. To the court? Very well. But why would you help that Gavryushov? You said it's critical for the court to prove the marital unfaithfulness even before discussing divorce. Therefore, to say, hmm to show her degradation, her immoral portrait, her lascivious temperament. I guess I did. And so, if we imprison Gavryushov, their lawyers will try to depict the bastard as a martyr. And if that does happen, I'll end up looking like I just want revenge. Yet, uh, we still need him to file for bankruptcy. But don't put him in jail. Now, if we set him free, he will sabotage her. <laughs> and then he'll take her mind off the kids. Genius? I salute you, Master. You sound more like a lawyer than most of us. Boris, fix your posture. Fix your posture. You're getting cheekier. Uh, come on. There you go. Move your chair back. Thank you, Boris. Uncivilized, my word. Boris. I want some alone time. And there's no need to worry, ma'am. After this injury, you can start exercising in the gym twice a week. 
And instead of doing 15 squats, you can start with 10. How many reps can you do again, dear? Less than one. Don't worry about it. We can always reduce the load, so instead of squat, you'll be performing some front bends. <laughs> you'll bend over, trying to reach your knees with your arms. <laughs> if you can, keep trying till you can, right? Don't worry about anything else. Just commit yourself and you'll gradually notice the improvements. Have a great day. Likewise, ma'am. <laughs> Alexei, didn't I tell you not to come here? What happened? Hello there. Hello. I just got out of jail, Daria. But I kept thinking of you. With every passing moment. Is this your first time visiting? I'll call an instructor. In the meantime, feel free to walk around and see the club for yourself. What kind of jail? Uh, a regular one. <laughs> I was recently released. Mm-hmm. Then maybe things would have been better if you just stayed in prison. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Please drive away from my club. Just wait for me, okay? Where will I wait? Go home, okay? I'll come see you. You take care. See you soon. Excuse me, sir. You called for me? Please take a seat. Give me Garyashov's case. Did you find anything? Yes, sir, I did. We are in malleable circumstances. First there was this, and now there's that. Well, they're not exactly opposites, but long story short, this is going to be an administrative case. So, what will we do then? Do you remember what they taught us? If you don't know how to act, then let the law guide you. <laughs> so what does the law say then? Mm -hmm. Care to explain? Well, let's start from changing the measure of restraint and admitting him bail. These are the papers. Just give your opinion, and then I'll decide the resolution of this matter with respect to your thoughts. I think that... I think we can probably admit him. Okay. I'm glad to hear that we agree on this. Thank you. I'll look through it in a bit. So, can I go now? Of course. You're free to go. You have a cigarette? You can't smoke here, ma'am. Was my question about whether or not I can smoke here? I told you to lose that habit. How are you so incapable of even directly answering a simple question, you damn nitwit? For once in your life, can you not be a failure? I wish autumn would come sooner. Uh, it's my favorite. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and? I love you. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look, look, look. What? Look at that fish. Come on, look. It's swimming. It's swimming. It's looking for prey. <laughs> Should we go home now? Andre. 
I need to go to the kids. They're waiting. I need to be there for them. Autumn will come and everything will get better. We just have to keep waiting for a while. Listen. <laughs> Does he understand that it's finally over between you and him? No, it doesn't seem that way. One time, his car was stolen by a bunch of thugs. It was later found, and he went on to show how he's pathologically sure that everything his will come back to him. Are you saying that he still thinks of you as an item? Yes. He doesn't like it when he loses his properties. Listen to me, okay? I'll only say this once. <laughs> if you have any problems, they will be mine too. And if you want something, I will take it for you. And I'm giving you this warning. As soon as you become my wife, I'll be thinking of you as my own property as well. Except, except that you'll be my greatest treasure. One that I'll take care of all my life. Well, okay. Greatest treasure? Of course. <laughs> Very well. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? yes. You're sure, okay? <laughs> to meet with your husband. For what? To talk. What do you think he'll say to you? I just want to ask him what he's going to do next. What makes you think he'll tell you about but it? You'll never know until we try, right? Uh, I doubt you'll learn anything. You know, let's talk about it later. I don't want to talk about him right now and ruin my mood. Yeah, let's forget about him. There's no Pelagina now. To hell with him. I was thinking about it. Did you notice? When I ran away, they got together immediately. No, Matve. They're not together now. What if we run away together this time? Stupid. You still haven't learned your lesson. Didn't you regret running away? Don't try running again. You're just making things worse. But what if I run farther? This time, you're with me. And then they'll have to look for us together this time. And while they look, they'll make peace again. That's what I think. I don't want mommy and daddy getting a divorce. Families should live together, right? I want us to stay like before. What do you think? I feel the same. I want them to stick together. You see, mommy and daddy can only live together for as long as they love each other. Then what about their love for us? Are we not enough? <laughs> Try thinking about it this way. They'll keep loving their kids forever. Both mommy and daddy. But if the adults only love their children and not each other, then there's nothing we can do about it. Why is that? You'll know when you grow up, and it's your turn. <sighs> what are you up to? Why aren't you sleeping? Huh? It's one past midnight. Why couldn't we? And our biological clock's broken. <sighs> is it true that you were jailed? No, I wasn't jailed. I just had to sleep there for a bit. Were they all wearing red just like in the movies? And who put you there? Daddy, help for sure. I think you're lying. Mom, who was that bastard that you were going with? Matve, you shouldn't use that word, okay? Hmm? It's a bad word. <sighs> Conspiring behind my back, huh? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm? Go to sleep. You should go to bed as well, Igor. Get up, Matve. It's time to sleep. We're off to bed now. Come on. What now? Nothing much. I can see through you. Your daddy already knows what you think about him. 
You're too easy to read. Just like mother. Do you want to have a good life? Go to sleep now. Not just a good life, mind you. <laughs> Think about the greatest life there is. Of course I want to. Do you think that she can support you? Well, I can. <laughs> Look at your mother. She's a beggar. You know, I can see it in your eyes that you understand me. Sleep well, okay? <sighs> Good night, dear. That's enough. Let her go to her room. Come with me. I'll put you to bed. Let her go, Igor. Come on. Good Where's night, my dear. Boy? You sleep well too, Dad. <laughs> go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. Come on, Igor. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in short, here's what I found. Marital properties. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about marital properties. Marital properties? We've lived together for so long, but we don't have any. Well, the marital properties can be divided if you, um, don't have any of those. The kit? So Mr. Palagin knows a lot of ways to say that he doesn't have any properties at all, but that's just on paper. And about the kit? We may try saying that, you know, I've got nothing. Or I'm just renting. It's arrested, pledged, and sold, and so on. He has the documents to beat us. What about the kit? Well, as for them, it's no issue for us. <laughs> It'll be a lot more difficult for him. I don't know how he plans to take them. As it turns out, things will be easier than expected. Valeria here will provide us a report on the children's mental health, won't you, Valeria? And our dear friend, Dr. Anatoly, will be providing us with testimony about eating a psychiatric disorder and what it may entail. Uh, here's our child services representative, Mrs. Eleftina. Um, I'm sorry, it's Antonina. Miss Antonina, I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss Antonina here will give us an insight about Irina's capability to provide for the children with, uh, respect to her housing facilities. Yes, but we have yet to conduct an examination. Allow me to assure you that there will be an examination before the hearing. Miss Irina won't be capable of providing for the housing facilities, let alone for the children. No, maybe if I was more familiar with her. As far as I'm aware right now, she doesn't have any support from any benefactors. She is nothing without me. And there's your answer. Hence my supposition that there's nothing difficult here. Very good. So what I want to know is this. Why did Mr. Pelagin let you out of the prison? Other than what's obvious, which is to de-escalate. Well, there must be another reason. I think knowing this will be imperative. Now listen to me. Your would-be father-in-law, Kormukin, and Mr. Balagin are opposing forces. You can think of them as rival syndicates. They have one objective. Think of this little star as the Kremlin. Sooner or later, they will clash. It'll be a tough battle. Both of them are trying to outclass. They're playing dirty, recruiting partisans. Palagin knows that Komukin wants Andre in prison. So he crabs his game, and he releases you. Komukin will want to hit back on Palagin. So at this very moment, if someone offers him enough support, even on behalf of his enemy, he will agree. He will cooperate. Are you saying I should offer him my services? No, he's asking me to offer Kormukin what I know. Am I right? Alexei wants me to speak with Kormukin and sell out Pelagina by telling him everything about his rival. And then, we'll be able to count on Kormukin's help. Yes. You can do it. Because firstly, you live with Pelagin, and he's got you cornered. Secondly, Irina... You're a sleeping fighter. 
No, I'm already awake. Hey. You have to be careful with them. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Well then, we can finally start playing. Konstantin Denisovich? <sighs> Mr. Kormukin, excuse me, I'm Palagin, Irina. Palagin's wife. <sighs> Mr. Kormukin, may I speak with you? 90 seconds. If you're in a hurry, maybe we could talk in the car? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. You can take a break. Sava, take a walk. Would you like some water? Mm, no, thank you. Wine, maybe? No. Then perhaps you'd like this. No? Well, as you wish. It's obvious why you were here, very. Getting divorced, things went downhill, and dangerous. It's clear. So you're here, begging for my help. Sums it up, doesn't it? In theory, it's wise, but too bad. In practice, it's unwise. The way I see it, helping you out means assisting your friend. So I don't want to help you. In fact, I can kill you. But you are being protected by my exalted virtues, and so, I don't know. Speak up. Think about what's more beneficial. Hmm. You know, I think it would be beneficial for you to have me as your ally, your greatest rival's wife. It would serve you, and your colleagues as well. Oh. Don't you think so? I'm sure they'd appreciate this collaboration. Tell me, what's your specialty? History. And where did you get these skills? In MSU. Mm -hmm. The Faculty of History. Intrigues. Palace coups and such. Okay, intrigues are intriguing. Why can't everyone just be everyone's allies? What if I make you my assistant? Officially, that is. Of course, now my daughter would get mad at me. That's okay. She'll cool down. She'll find more of those Gavryushov fellows. This is a matter of national importance. I won't have this country plundered by its palagans. I believe I've considered all variables. It's the right call. And so, what'll happen next? Whatever. First of all, I'll hire you. Call yourself what you'd like. Assistant... Consultant, press secretary, that's up to you. Shall we start right away? Well, we can. But we've got some time. <sighs> no, I will be driving. Uh, this isn't an offer. I want you to drink from this glass. What I want, you will follow. This is how we're going to work now. Mr. Kormukin, your tastes are refined. Do you really think flirting <laughs> with me will help? You're a good-looking woman, that one's for sure. But believe me, I have zero interest in you. Now eat this piece of orange. No, no, no. Eat it. From your hand? Eat. From your hand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Only dogs eat from one's hand. I won't do it. That's what you are. That's what you are. Won't do it. What did you think would happen, huh? You crawled to me, promising to betray your spouse, trying to charm me. You thought I would melt down, huh? No, I will not. I believe you should have an understanding of who you're dealing with much better now. You will eat what I tell you to eat. And you will eat from my hand and you'll be drinking only from my shoes, from water to cognac. 
And if I tell you to bark, you'll bark for me. Is that clear? For the sake of my kids. For the sake of your kids? You think I care about that? Yes or no? Are we agreed? Do you want me to give you a lift? I'll drive myself. The cell phone's ringing. Just leave it. Is mommy home? <sighs> Why aren't you in your room? Mommy promised she'd walk with me. I will walk with you instead. I wanted to walk with mommy. And daddy will tag along with you. Play around. Go on. Hey, did you fall asleep over there? Did you change it? It wouldn't open. Sorry, we've been ordered not to let you in. What do you mean by ordered? Bring her stuff. So you wouldn't let me in anymore? You're making a barricade? Where are the kids? This is Maria speaking. Hi, Mom. This is Matvey. This is no longer your residence. Don't come close. Go get your things. Go back where you came from. And don't come back here ever again. Don't show yourself to me. You are no mother, nor a wife. Get out of here. Clean it yourself.
Is this the police? They're not letting me inside my house. My name is Irina Palagin. No, nothing has happened yet. I'm just not allowed to enter my own house. Six Lesnaya Street, can you please come and find out what's happening?